Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2. I'm Karen Maku. And I'm Doom Dragon. Okay, so we're going to the... Oh, right. We're going here. Yeah, it is time for the trial. Time for Gundam to give us the information that we need that will unlock the biggest clue of this case. A deadly trial. A deadly despair. Please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get there? Has that not always been there? No. Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? Mm -hmm. That story... That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? No, I'm, I'm taking credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> My idea, me. I'm the one who said it. Right. Everybody else shut up. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. Well, he's dead now like an idiot. I still can't believe he's dead. At least he's not digested like my shit. Byakuya, <laughs> Byakuya, Byakuya, Byakuya. Spooky, you're fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, it's my turn to talk. <laughs> What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Ah, I know! They probably ran away. So he just hits her with a frying pan. <laughs> Makes that satisfying noise. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hell nah! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know. Look, I dragged this one back over here. Wow, I can't believe it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, let me go! Hey, come on now. Hey now, if you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up. If you keep acting violent, I might get violent and <laughs> then things will happen and next thing you know, my tongue will be in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I don't have a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. Well, you kind of need to join the trial. It's kind of mandatory. Well, you kind of need to be gay, so fuck you. Oh, I can? <laughs> <laughs> Nagito, get over here! <laughs> we have permission now. Kiss me, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly had that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? Well, I'm pretty sure the rules say you have to go to the trial. I'm pretty sure the rules say you're stupid. You... How can you say something so irresponsible? <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to. Just to survive. Wait. My hero, that's enough. You too, Fihiko. Dummy ass. Um, and I guess we're waiting for Gundam. I am right here. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. You're not a main character. I'm sorry, He's Gundam. He's absolutely the main character of his life, dude. Well, everyone technically is. Yeah, but you ever see those people who, like, take it to the extreme? Where they just an asshole to everyone? Yeah, because they think that, like, just nobody else matters or whatever. Uh-huh. Like a shittier version of that schizophrenic thing. What? There's like a, I, I've told you about it, so there's like this this condition you get, it's a form of schizophrenia where like you're just convinced that you're the only real person. Right, yeah, you did tell me about that. You did, like everybody else is just like NPCs or robots or whatever. Super fucked up. Oh well. It's, <laughs> it seems you noticed it too. <laughs> oh, yeah, his earrings back, which means they drew a couple of sprites without his earrings. Or they... Could also, uh, wouldn't it just be easier to just take his normal sprite and then just, like, erase the earring? Or, like, make his baseline sprite and then add the earring to it? Well, I mean... I don't know how computer sprites work, so... Because it's like, you can draw the base sprite and then get the, all the pictures you need and then add the earring and then make another, like, more pictures. Because mm -hmm. you can just draw over it. I guess not. Also, it's weird that, like, these ginger beer cans have, like, an odd texture to them. Sorry, it's just a weird just thing. keep you on your toes. <laughs> if, if I did, then I'm right. Well, now. All right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Wait. But please, wait a second. What's this? 
My, my, Bonami, just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, I... Hmm, do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the Clash Trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. Slaps the piss out of her. <laughs> I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? Gotta, I can't wait till he goes away. <laughs> nah, man, the annoying character always makes it to the end of the game. I know, but like with Danganronpa, it's a it's a good bet that the like a lot of these characters are gonna die. <laughs> hmm? Like, if they're not a murderer, they're going to get killed, and either way, that person's going to end up dead. Guess so. I'm also worried about our cat, because we were playing with him earlier, and he just started panting. Well, yeah, he got tired, man. I know. I'm just worried about him overheating. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, dude. He mentioned something about a secret entrance. Was a, About a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? Secret tunnel! <laughs> Secret tunnel. What the? Something's shaking. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. I like how it lands directly on Monami. Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazi is trembling with fear. Of course you would name your hamster something like that. I love his sprites where he brings out the hamsters. Ugh, that's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey. Forgive me. Seriously, just forgive me already. For my countless sins against humanity. Cuts to him masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way. There's no way. There's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid. C complaining won't get us anywhere. If we, if you're really a man, then ma man up for God's sake. It is shockingly bold of you to assume anything. <laughs> Fuck we've, you. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd be a very high difficult, high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. She's the ultimate gamer, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you got it yet, but she's the ultimate gamer. <laughs> Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. He just does that thing where Do like you feel represented. <laughs> he just does that thing where like he you ever seen a video of like a person steps on an escalator and starts going up but their other foot doesn't get on the escalator? Yeah, and then they're just <laughs> they're just doing the split. <laughs> and he just does that. Everybody's watching and it's just like I don't I don't know what to do about this man. I won't think anymore. Empty head! <laughs> If I think, I'll run away. Yeah. All I could do is stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. He tries to run away down the elevator, or escalator. <laughs> and when each of us entered Monokuma Rock... It blew up. <laughs> that thing shakes like a motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, hang on. This is an elevator! I see. This entire rock is an elevator. Cody, please. Listen, man, nothing I ever do is good enough. Once again, Monokuma is doing as he, doing what he pleases. However. Uh, however, if if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, I yawned. That's... Sorry, yeah. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. 
I just realized it's like a spoiler thing, like. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged, plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then the elevator door slowly opened. And then I stepped out of the elevator. And, and then, then I slipped on a banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome. This is the Clash Trial Field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this? Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Yeah. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Maybe I should take over Hajime. Why? I don't know. Because it's like it's going to be a lot of Monokuma talking, and then Hajime is going to say stuff. All right. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked towards the seats that we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. The, the ultimate affluent progeny. Progeny? I don't know. Progeny. Yeah. Byakuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. Also overweight. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. And a good appetite. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried to tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us. <laughs> He's pink. <laughs> I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. Like Pekka, not Pekka's, uh, Ibuki. Well, yeah, everything she does is extra, dude. But if it's really true, we need to find out b uh, by any means possible. I like Akane's face. Oh yeah, she's always ready. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Because that's our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so... This life-threatening trial, uh, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Ah, he didn't do the thing that uh, Makoto did, which was a very... A deadly trial, a deadly despair, a deadly deceit. Which honestly is very stupid. <laughs> a deadly knife. A deadly knife. Can I... Do you want to take care of your pet before we do this real fast? You Fine. know, Just make sure it's okay. <laughs> like everybody's just standing there and it's like, uh, hey, so are you ready for the trial or and it's like, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got it. I got it. Can, can you fucking excuse should, me? Should I'm I like, give it a present? Do you have like an excess of anything? I have a tea. But like we've only visited the machine once. We don't have an excess of anything. Are you sure? I feel like we have, probably have doubles of some things. Let me know if you see one. All right. If not, you can probably... Give it like some. Oh wait, lust. Japanese sake that contains no alcohol, despite being alcohol free, it will still get you <laughs> drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, I got my first like ad for alcohol the other day, which is weird. Okay, let's give the alcohol to our baby. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but what I came in here to do was to buy some skills. Right. Uh, let's... Tentative influence. Does it tell you what they do? Oh, okay. Slightly increases the influence gauge. Effective during clash trial. Cannot be combined with envious influence. Uh... You're the one doing all this shit, so... Okay, I'm probably just gonna cut it until I'm done. Okay. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna set the skills that I got. Uh, I can't set that one. I don't think I got anything else. What did that one do? 
uh, focus gauge decrease at a lower rate during concentration and fever time effective during the non-stop debate, hangman's gab, and panic talk action. Oh god, there's fever time at the end of this trial. I don't know if I need it, though. But also concentration. Which is just that thing where, like, you slow down time. You don't want to look at the clues, or should we just start the trial? Let's just fucking do it, man. Yeah, proceed to the class trial. Now then, let's begin also, we are not going to have to do any voice acting. You want to just put it on auto? But, like, we're not going to have to, like, do any of our own fucking readings for these characters, which is great. I also like that Monami is just hanging there every yeah. fucking time. We can also just talk over this because he's just fucking... It's the same thing. It's the same thing as the last game. It's the same thing he always says. You don't have to input anything, but, like, it'd be fucking amazing if you did. No. All right, cool. I don't know. I'm just like, what can I really add? I don't know, man, but I don't want to be the only one talking here. Sorry, I, I was just, like, paying attention to the trial, because I don't know when they're going to start. Because, like, in the last game, they had fucking Hero who would start the trial instantly, and it's like, I'm pretty sure he used a metal pipe. Imagine Nekumaru sees Monami hanging there, and he, like, just pulls out a bat, and he's like, oh, pinata! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. Who would be the stupidest person to fall for that, though? Because everyone in this game seems pretty smart. Ibuki. Or Akane. 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 Were you even listening to the rules? Akane just like does like a whole fucking free-for-all fist fight. And then it's just like... What if like she sees the pinata and she sees Monomi and it's like, pinata! And then she like goes to swing at it, but she's like punching, but she's not tall enough to actually hit Monomi, so she's just swinging. That's saw a video that made me laugh where it was just like, it was a, a basketball stuck in a hoop. Mm -hmm. And somebody pulled off their shoe and went to throw it and just completely missed the hoop entirely. Why don't we try talking about and I just lost my shit. You laugh at the dumbest things. You're dumb. Okay. I laugh at you. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think you are. I love you. You've been dissing me all day. Dude, you diss me all the time. No, I don't. You really want to go down this road? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Miyagi's body was discovered under the dining hall table. Uh, we could start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. Yes. So I think it's just a kangaroo court, man. If we can't do that, well, I mean, when you're being held against your will by a murderer, I'm pretty sure every court is probably going to be a kangaroo court. No, not necessarily. Do you know what a kangaroo court is? It's kind of like a bullshit court. <laughs> it, it's this situation where it's like, you have a crime, and then you just bounce from person to person until you find the killer. Well, it's not like they can really do anything. They're kind of left to their own devices, and Monokuma isn't going to, like, bring any order to this. I guess so, but still. And if they don't figure it out by using these means, then they're just going to fucking die. Without any... Blah, 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 blah. Nah, I like figuring it out while I'm playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do that all the time, and it infuriates the piss out of me. <laughs> it infuriates me to no end. Because I pull can't that read. Shit. It crosses my eyes and I can't understand what they're saying. Because it's like every single time we play a game and they give you a tutorial, you skip it and then five minutes later you're just you're just like, how do I do it? How do I do this thing? I don't know how to do this thing. It's bullshit that I can't do this thing. Uh, Other bullet. It's yeah, it's a different bullet. Blood stain under the table. Yeah, Buki, what do you say? Or, are you stupid? Man, her, 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 like, picture is, like, so intense, too. Yeah, she's got a very intense face. Oh, shit. Uh, but, like, it just does not reflect either, because she is such a bubbly, all-over-the-place character. Shut up. There we go. <laughs> Soda, you're dumb. Throw an empty Pringles can at him. <laughs> yeah, and he shattered him. That's how hard you threw the empty Pringles can. <laughs> okay, so, um... You remember who all the murderers are, right? I think so, yeah. I just don't remember the order of all the murders. 
Okay. <laughs> what? No, no, it's just that, like, that makes sense. We did play this game, like, three to four years ago. And I was sleeping most of the time. I slept through most of it. You weren't there for the last one. I was not. I was gone. Like, you walked in halfway through the trial, and you were just like, Oh, you're on this again? Okay. And then you went to sleep. Dude, I was fucking miserable. Well, yeah, your boss didn't really make your life any easier. Yeah, I was working for a goddamn shitty dollar store, dude. I was exhausted all the time. I didn't even get paid good. Yeah. You think he was killed under the but table. then you moved to a place that paid better, and now you're so like working at the best, one of the best playing, paying places in town. Yeah, that's true. And if I ever get fired or lose my job, I have a plan. Go to a plant? No. Th that does make sense, but why did he go okay. to the table? <laughs> end my own life. But then how would I pay for this stuff? I don't, know. I don't have a job. I don't know, I'll be dead. <laughs> Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> uh, cut that out. Cut that joke out. No, I can't because that's a lot of time that you just spent on that joke. No, I didn't. Cut it out. Bleep it. Dub it over. Dub it over with just massive amounts of end time. <laughs> Dude, then the video would get taken down. We're gonna make tea after this, or we're gonna have to like go get that chest. We're not finished moving in. You're gonna make tea? Yeah, I can make my own tea. Okay. Well, you said we we're gonna make tea. I don't. Oh drink. fuck! What did he ask? Uh, display the problem. If it's connected to what Biakio was doing during the party, then it's. Uh. uh oh shit! What would that be? The knife. I don't. Think I so? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Miyaki was using this knife to kill himself. Miyaki was he was interrupted. Miyaki was using this knife to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible. You ever heard of sounding? <laughs> I hate you. I implore you to I look hate it up. You. I hate you so much, Lonnie. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a brick. I don't know where I'm gonna get a break, but my god, I'm gonna. You just you rip it me. out of the wall of the building. <laughs> the landlady sees you doing that. And you're just like, don't worry, I'll put it back when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta hit my wife once or twice. <laughs> Knock some sense into her. <laughs> Ugh, sounding's awful. Uh, it is. I've seen people do it with nails. Oh, God. <laughs> I've seen someone do it with a straw and then suck on the straw. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> what kind of straw was it? I don't know. It was, it was, like, it was, like, a, I think it was specially made for sounding because it had, like, bumps at the end that you're supposed to put into it. Oh. And then she sucked on it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I need to read. God. Okay, fine. I'll skip the tutorial. Oh, uh, uh, the forbidden juice box. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Hang on, I, 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 oh, I can't, no. I can't, I can't see. Hang on. <laughs> oh my God! The forbidden juice box. Jesus H F Christ, dude. It sounds correct. It's not though, stupid. Hang on, I'm gonna continue what we were talking about as soon as I slap the piss out of one of these characters. <laughs> what do you mean continue? Because I have more to add. I don't want to. <laughs> dude, that sounds terrible. Sure could taste it, though. Oh, the night vision goggles. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, yeah, uh, uh <laughs> shoot her anyway. <laughs> okay, so, um, anyway. Uh, I was gonna say, like, the nutsack is the forbidden juice box. <laughs> I hate you. Juice packet. Oh, fuck. I, dude, you. I hit the wrong button. I'm still learning. Dude, this is gonna take way too long. I'm sorry. I couldn't see the first time around. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. I really think there is a certain, but like you shouldn't judge people on their fetishes, or you shouldn't like you know. But also, don't spring that one up on a stranger. Oh, absolutely. 
Like, really, just what happens between, like, two or however many consenting adults in, like, just in their privacy of their own domicile or just at least in a public place away from eyes. I hope our neighbors can hear us and they're just listening to us talk about sounding. God, they have a four-year-old. Well, I mean, oh, shit, is it still school hours? Because they're probably at school. No, school let out, like, an hour or two hours ago. But I haven't seen the bus come by. Hmm. Oh, well. My point stands, though. It's just like... No, oh, shit. We do this in the first case? Yeah, man. Get fucked on shit, nerd. Dude, she's like right next to us, too, isn't she? I don't know. Is she? You're dumb. Oh, she's right next to us! <laughs> <laughs> right! I forgot. I made the joke about how, like, we're right next to the two most awful people, awful females here. <laughs> <laughs> awful female. Well, I mean, because, like... I like how the there's... character models turn black, like, at the last possible minute. Because, like, there's one person who's, like, worse than both of them. That's true. And he is a male, so... Yeah, that's weird. There's only, like, one shitty male. Well, Fihiko's pretty shitty. He gets better. <laughs> he gets better. That's true. I think it's the Duralumen case. Choose your weapon. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those knife bits. That's gotta be it. Shut up. Cha. Ja. <laughs> Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use knife bits, then they could kill Yakuya. Aren't you supposed to slash that? So those goggles were planned, and the killer brought them to the crime scene. Oh shit. Uh, uh, do fucking I missed it. <laughs> 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 dumb. Uh, God damn. Yeah, I know like he goes an asshole, but like he does redeem himself later, so like uh, yeah, in the most intense way possible. Yeah. Uh but... He does it in front of everyone, too. Gundam's not that much of an asshole, really. Nah, he's just an... He's just intense. Intense, friendly person. <laughs> <laughs> he just has a lot of personality. Uh, wasn't that, like, the first time we played this game? I thought Byaku... Or not Byaku. I thought Gundam was gonna end up being the asshole. Well, I mean, yeah, if you look at him. Well, yeah, he's like... The dude, dude has, like, whole-ass villain vibes. You can also think, like, a boogie's probably an asshole just by looking at her, like, straight face. Yeah, because that, that's a very intense and angry-looking face. They could have gone any way with their personality, and they chose this one. Yeah. Most of the characters have, like, a pretty serious resting face. Like, really? Ma Mahiru doesn't... I think Akane's resting face is pretty serious. He, he has such, like, a happy-go-lucky face that I, like, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, this seems like a nice character to talk to. Too bad he's probably a sexual criminal. <laughs> he is absolutely a fucking... Like, definitely. he's not allowed near kindergartens. <laughs> <laughs> he, ha he has multiple restraining orders. Uh, it's like he's, he's not allowed to go to any schools <laughs> or uh, near a hospital. <laughs> hospital. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're talking about, like, you know, like, when it comes to, like, your sexual proclivities so long as every party involved is consenting cool i'm still allowed to say it's weird you know what i mean oh shit the knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started it was the deck tape. I sh it oh, right yeah. yeah like i'm still allowed to say it's weird and uh i sh can also say that i feel like you shouldn't walk around in a leather gimp suit and try to talk to people's kids don't fucking do that man but uh anyway so there was a part in the anime where, like, they were eating stew or something, and someone had laced it with an, uh, what's it called? An aphrodisiac? Terry Terry did that? I don't know who did it, but it was, it had that stuff in it, and everyone was getting horny. And, uh, In the anime? In the anime. What the fuck? And, uh... That's a straight-up hentai plot. Yeah, and Hyoko was being a bitch, and I think they were on the verge of Teru Teru actually doing something to her. Then someone punched him and <laughs> floated away, and he was like, it's worth, it was worth a shot! <laughs> I imagine if Nekumaro did it, he just, like, flies off screen, it's like in Smash Bros, where it's just, GAME! And there's the blast of light. 
There's a part where like Soda wanted to strip naked because well, you know when you get turned on and your body gets real hot. Oh yeah. Yeah, he wanted to just take off his jacket and it's like, nah, keep your jacket on. <laughs> and then there was like a whole thing of like them zipping it up and down. Well, he's wearing a jumpsuit too. Oh, I think he made the. There we go. <laughs> he's wearing a jumpsuit too. Like that shit's hot. hot. It's so hot. It is. Like I've. That's right, Biaki. I probably knew there was. Do you want to just make the trial a long ass episode? I don't know. Can't you find the note? What? Uh, pro- uh, b- 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 yeah, we have the note somewhere. Where is it? So hang on, hang it's on, like hang on. It's like down near there the bottom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thumbnail. <laughs> no, I already used it once. I can't use it again. You could. No, that'd be fucking lazy. That's fair. Just don't look at the beginning of our, ch- of our channel. <laughs> <laughs> We've changed a lot since then. We're just going to keep changing as time goes on and hopefully get better. Yeah, we'll probably get better since we have enough space to actually get more equipment. Yeah, we're going to look into getting a mic stand because right now we just have like a little microphone sitting on a table. Lonnie doesn't want to get a mic stand. I do. No, I, I don't mind a mic stand. Just the one that I have is not good. Yeah. We can get a, I know, we, I saw like a converter cable. I just have to make sure it has the right plug in. Or we can just get a different mic. Or we can. Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies. I doubt that. Lie. Also, what is a friendly lie? <laughs> you look pretty today. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've done that before. <laughs> Honestly. Not to me, right? No. Okay. Yeah. I rarely lie to you. Unless it, you know, serves my purposes. What have you lied about? Oh, I've lied all the time. <laughs> so I can't believe you. No, you can. No, you just said you lie all the time. <laughs> Unless I was lying about that. Dude, speaking of Terra Terra, I'm like, I told you this, but like, I'm having a debate with myself on whether or not I want to watch the menu. Oh, right. Because like, the villain... In the movie. I keep getting recommended clips on YouTube, and I watched them because I wasn't intending to watch the movie. But, like, the villain looks interesting, and, like, he has an interesting backstory, and, like, the scenes that involve him are really cool. But it has the issue that, like, a lot of movies and shows that, like, female leads have, where it's just, like, the, every other character is just has fucking and when they're on screen. It's ridiculous, man. I don't, I don't know if you could say that. I probably can't. <laughs> Maybe bleep that out. <laughs> but, like, every other character is just an idiot for whatever reason. Like, they're just reduced to, like, idiotic caricatures. And that's just... I don't get why people do that when you have a female lead. Among us, who is the one who killed Biaki? Oh, right. I need to choose someone who fits the bill. But it's just, like... I don't know, man. Why is why why is it if you have a, like a female character who's the main character, you have to make everyone else stupid? Like you gotta, you have to like just inflate their ego, I guess, because you're not confident. It it, it just seems like you're not confident that that character is like good enough. It feels like a panic where like they don't know how to make a like how to make it seem like she's a strong woman, so they overcompensate by dumbing down everyone else. Yeah, exactly. And like like in She Hulk. Like, you really wanted to have a character that was just like, she's the main character and she's funky and she's a woman. So, like, everybody else was just like a dumb character. Like, there literally there's like a dude who f- addresses women as it. Like, he's like, there's a hot female over there. I'm gonna go talk to it. And it's just like, no one fucking talks like that. Well, I mean, there's probably a few who do, but like, there's very few and far between. Yeah, and it's, it's also just like, a dude like that is not going to reach the top of a legal... The, kill, definitely, like, the killer definitely used the mark. Because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table. Okay, cool. So, like, it's, uh... It's the glowing paint. I know it's the glowing paint, but I'm wondering if we should end the episode soon. I mean, that or we can just make, like, the trial a long episode. Okay. Just see if we can't get it all done in one. You know what I mean? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the... Uh... And there's also Velma, which... Okay. Well, I mean, that was just a cosplay. It's a self-insert fan fiction, dude. I will kill myself before I watch Velma. I mean, uh, apparently, 
uh, the video I showed you, there was like a third Velma who was also kind of dark skin. She was like a s Hispanic and from the live action. Really? I thought that was the Velma from Scoob. I don't know. Because like in Scoob, she was supposed to be Hispanic, which like, she didn't look very Hispanic. She was supposed to be Hispanic? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, right? I, I heard that it was live action Hispanic Velma. That seals it. It might have come from one of the Cartoon Network movies. Because, like, off the top of my head, I always just default to fucking Scooby-Doo, Monster Island, and then Monsters Unleashed. The best ones. The best movies of all time, dude. Which, please, get back on making more, more to that. I want more. I want a third one. Please, Richard Suckle, we need you. <laughs> Emerge from your 69 cave. I think also, um... Shit, what's his name? The guy who made Guardians of the Galaxy. Um... Oh, dude, I'm blanking out right now. Uh, <laughs> Richard Dunn? I don't know. No, it was James Gunn. It was J James Gunn. But then he he's he like got into trouble for a minute because he like made some tweets back in like. It was like eleven year old tweets. Yeah, and where he like said some like off the wall shit. It was pretty bad, like the stuff he said. It was. I thought it was kind of hilarious though, because like if I had heard that eleven years ago, I would have been laughing my ass off. Everybody would have, because everyone was laughing at ed edgy humor. Exactly. So like, I feel like you can't really fault him because that was the humor for the time. Yeah, but also the thing about edgy humor is that you can't tell if someone's being serious. I guess so. Well, the I, other... I think that's the reason everyone was upset is because like what if he's saying that stuff and he wasn't joking? I guess so. Well like really what what people need to understand is that like people make jokes during time periods that, you know, might not be okay later. Oh, but shit. I <laughs> oh, shit, who what? I don't remember anyone's accounts. I think it's Nekumaru's. Pekka should have been in the office. She could have caused the blackout at any time. No. Right, this is the agreement thing. You're able to agree with people's things, right? Impossible. Because I was not in the office. Yeah, you weren't in the office. Not even before the blackout. I agree with Consent. <laughs> Let's go to the back now. Or just in the middle. Let's do it in front of everyone. But it's like, you know, things change with time. Like, people want to censor to, censor to kill a Mockingbird. And, uh, like, Huckleberry Finn because they use language and stuff that people use during the time period that the book was written. Or, like, during the time period the book was is set in. And it's just like, you kind of just have to accept, man, that, like, shit changes over time. And you can't really just censor things. Did I, did I tell you that I saw an article one time about, like, boomers getting upset with the I don't remember if it was millennials or Gen Z where because they said that uh, like Frank Frankenstein's monster was a victim yeah and like, Actually, they call they called them snowflakes for saying that which, which is like it's it's true though yeah Frankenstein's monster was the villain or victim sorry because, like, I have read the original Frankenstein novel. I saw a play of it. It was amazing. I wish I could go to plays more often. You could. I could, but, like, they're all the way in Houston, and tickets are so flippant. Oh, dude, I have... I was... <laughs> what? I was sorting mail the other day at work, right? And I got an ad for somebody for the Houston play. And one of the pictures on it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to send me that. I'm definitely putting that in the video. Like, this dude is terrified. He is having such a bad time. I'll send it to you later. But it's just like, he is having such a bad time right now. I don't know what play that is. But it's great, dude. Dude. <laughs> right, he's just talking about Pecco's shit. He's just, like, talking about how, like, she took an absolutely monster dump. <laughs> Which, like, just embarrassing her in front of, like, all 15 people. This is weird that this isn't a, a, pl a plot, really. What do you mean? Like, her having to go to the bathroom all of a sudden. Oh. Because it's like, she wasn't, she just had she was bad luck. Right. Yeah, because they they did like 
bring up the idea that someone shut up, Terry. Terry, Terry, shut the fuck. But like, Somebody get the glass dome. They do play with the idea that maybe someone poisoned her food so that she wouldn't be in the office, but then they just kind of brush that away because, like, oh, Akane also ate the food, so the, it, so there's no way that they could have poisoned Pekko's food. I, I guess so, yeah. Because it's like they'd have no idea that Pekko was going to be the one to guard the office along with which plate she would pick. That's true. I guess it is just like a weird coincidence. I mean, she could have eaten something earlier today that got her sick. I guess so. Or she was just, her body just didn't like her and just decided to get sick. <laughs> uh, we've all had those moments. Uh, but I was talking about, like, uh, Frankenstein really is kind of the victim. I actually, I had to, um, had to write a paper back in high school about nature versus nurture and use Frankenstein's monster and Lord of the Flies as an example. And, uh... My English teacher had to pull me aside because I wrote a paper not saying whether or not it was nature versus nurture, but instead saying that Lord of the Flies cannot be used as an example because we're not given any information about the kids beforehand. We're simply told that they're all just normal kids. Didn't your teacher say that, like, you're right, but also that's not what was asked? Yeah, like, the teacher had to pull me aside and be like, listen, did you, you did a good job, but you didn't do the assignment. <laughs> Uh, and then I just, I wrote another paper explaining, like, Frankenstein's monster is an example of nurture as opposed to nature. Er, yes, yeah, nur nurture. I believe that it's just kind of a case-by-case -case thing. Because it's like, some people are really just a case of nurture. Like, people who are abused will eventually grow up and they can become psychos and shit like that. But sometimes they're just born weird. Yeah, some people are just born, like, as sociopaths and psychopaths. Because it's like that's a random mutation, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I don't know if it counts as a mutation or what, but, like, you'd be shocked as what counts as, like, mutations and what doesn't. Okay. Because, like... Because it's like, uh, that's definitely something that could be... That someone could be born with a random disorder. Yeah. But you can also, like, become a sociopath. Or like trauma and, sh and stuff like that. Yeah, but that, that's the nurture part, but the disorder thing is the nature part. Yeah, exactly. So, I think it's a case, I personally believe it to be a case by case thing. She bringing out that queen energy. Ow. That did not work at all. <laughs> you hurt your hands snapping. Well, it's because like I missed and I like just sort of twisted my finger a little bit. God, you are so mean. Why are you always so mean? Yeah, and no one stops her from doing this. No, if anything, Mahiro encourages it. Yeah, they they used to be friends too. Yeah, like what the fuck, dude? Like what? Like why? I think the only person who told Pe not Pekko, uh, Hiyoko to stop was Pekko. Yeah, like that's fucking ridiculous, man. That like no one ever intervenes. It's so weird. Um. What was the question? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Neither uh, of us were paying attention. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm I'd just like, gonna go with Teru Teru's account and just continue. I'd like to go to like the Houston Theater or the Houston Ballet, but like one, oh, it's expensive. Two, I don't know that you would be interested. I'd go with you. Really. I think that's probably it. Yeah, really? Uh oh, I think someone brings up something about like overloading it. Right, right. You don't have to press anything special to agree with them, right? You just press the button. No, you shoot it like normal, but it has to be like it has to be blue, and then whatever you shoot at it, it has to prove that you agree with them. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Be, 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 shut up. But seriously though, it's weird. It's always weird to me when you have characters like that. Oh wait, wait, wait. No. Really? Oh. Okay. But it's always weird to me when you have characters who are just like clearly assholes and no one ever does anything. I feel like in this case, you can't really <laughs> do anything about it if someone's an asshole. Like Fuyuhiko, he's clearly being an asshole to everyone, but they can't do anything about it because they're stuck on the same island. I guess, but like, you could always just avoid him. And also, Hyoko's like four feet tall. Put her in a jar. <laughs> Mate, don't put her in a jar. That's that's an issue. Put her in a shoebox. Something. Like, put her on top. Put her put her up in a tree and then put just her on her. a shelf. 
<laughs> it's like, put her up in a tree and then just leave her. And then she's just stuck there and can't do shit. Oh, wait. Uh, spoilers for later, but she also doesn't know how to tie... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. But she also doesn't know how to tie her kimono, so just undo the back and leave her alone in her room. She won't be able to leave. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Did you know that, like, that's like a symbol of being a rich prostitute? A kimono? No, tying it in the back. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> because it used to be a thing where, like, a lot of... I, I, By the way, let me just clarify. Like, I could be very much wrong about this. Uh, but if I remember correctly, it's, like, it used to be a thing where, like, some geishas... Which, I don't know that like, all geishas were prostitutes, but, like... They're maybe. not. They just look like rich people. And uh, if you're buying a prostitute, then you probably want to fuck a rich person. But, uh... Some prostitutes and stuff like that, they would have their kimonos tied in the front. They would have their kimonos tied in the front because that was always just you know, the easiest way to do it. And it was sort of a symbol of being rich if you had your kimono tied in the back because it meant that you could afford to have somebody else do it for you. Could be wrong about that. But I think it was like a thing with pro uh, like prostitutes and geishas would do that. So, yeah, that's an interest. That's your fun fact for the day. <laughs> Yoko's a slut. Or she could just be wealthy. That's also true. Or it also could just be the... Because remember, she's a traditional dancer. She's If she's touring, of course she has people to tie it in the back for her. That's true. Also, it could just be a thing of, like, you know, the way cultures change over time. You know? Because, like, flipping somebody the bird used to just mean that you were threatening to bang them. Okay. Like, it didn't mean F you, it meant I'm going to F you. Imagine seeing people, like, flirting and they're just, like, flipping each other the bird. Indubitably. But, um... Yeah, Cody, so, uh... You know, I'm just thinking about, like, you wondering if all geishas are prostitutes. <laughs> well, they were like, they were, fuck, I don't know, man. I'm tired, okay? I don't know what's happening. I'm fucking exhausted. I don't know how, why. You haven't done anything. I haven't done a damn thing. <laughs> I'm just tired, man. I've been working a lot. Well, good thing is you might have tomorrow off as well. What if I they might... call you into work right now? If they do, I'm gonna flip my shit, dude. Because, like, <laughs> people should be coming back to the office right about now. <laughs> I mean, it'd be really funny if they come back. It's like, did you finish your mail? It's like, no, I need to go. <laughs> Dude, I would flip. They would probably just call me and be like, express. Like, that makes the most sense. Paco, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> pa wh what? What? <laughs> Line! Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. No, the break great. Where did they come? Wait, what was the big show? Are uh, you gonna look it up? Yeah, because like I'm pretty sure I was at least close. No oh, isn't like a geisha like a noble woman? Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. Oh, they were like entertainers. It's alright. Ah, okay. You don't have to worry. Because so not prostitutes. No. But a lot of probably could be. A lot of prostitutes like to dress up like geishas. There's no way everybody will lose now. That makes sense. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. I am almost and certain that some geishas offered sexual services alongside their performances. I like to imagine they do that and then someone tries to tell and it's like they'll never believe you. Well, you you'll never know. Time that there's no way a killer Idiot. Can be uh. Huh. Is that so? Let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. Right? Oh, uh, is this he... when he reveals that he's an asshole? Yeah. Okay, cool. The question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. What? Uh, don't say it out loud, but like, look at this. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Vyakuya set mm -hmm. foot in the old building. Oh, well. What a shame. Any one of us is capable It's always of weird that, like, Ah, uh, never mind. Not gonna get into politics. Yeah, please don't. Not yeah, on the channel. Although this is kind of this is, this is not mm. quite. Let me please, Lonnie. Can I at least say the thing? Fine. 
I absolutely love those deep fakes of Obama, Trump, and Biden like playing Minecraft or whatever. Oh, that's not political. That's hilarious. Yeah, so if you would let me finish. <laughs> well, you brought it up like it was gonna be political. Well, it involves political figures. Well, I mean, that depends. That It being politics is not based on like the person. It's based off of what the person is like talking about or believes. I would argue that like depending on the person, it's politics. Because like if you even mention Trump, People are going to flip their shit. Like, dude hasn't been president for years. And people are still trying to, like, impeach him and shit. Like, fucking... Either way, I love those videos because it's so funny. Like, one, it really does sound like them, which is weird. That's because AI is getting really smart. It is, which is kind of scary. Eh, it's not that scary. Because eh. it's like, at some point, someone... They're going to invent, like, robot servants, and then a person's going to, like, use it to go to work for them, and they're make money <laughs> yeah eventually we're not even gonna need like actors you just use deep fakes because like even when it comes to animated stuff you won't need voice actors you can just use deep fakes for the voices well you'd have to pay for royalties if you wanted to sound like a certain person i guess so or you could just create we're probably reaching a point where you can just create voices well yeah if we were able to make like music without instruments then voices were the next thing Guess so. Everyone and it's just like. I'm gonna I don't know. Really calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way Dude, one friend shut up. would murder another. He really just likes to start shit. Well, he's trying to test their resolve or something. Or, alternatively, let's hit him with an empty pot. Hajime grabs his stand and just bangs Throws it over it his head. head. <laughs> I just commit assault. Well, I mean, you can commit assault on this island. There's no charges for that. That's true. You like you wouldn't get in any sort of trouble for committing assault. It's murder that's wrong. Yeah, because it's like you can beat the shit out of someone else. Like I'm pretty sure later, uh, uh, what's his name, Nekumaru and Akane just duke it out, and then like nothing comes of it. I would say that was, like, sparring. I know, but, like, still, if it was against the rules to hit another student, then, like, that would, def uh, that would definitely count. That's true. I, you wouldn't even have to have a trial for it, because nobody dies. Right? Yeah. No, yeah, there is. There, later on, someone slaps the shit out of Nagito. Not really? Yeah. There's, like, no ramifications for it. Yeah, no. It's just that, like... Is it Nagito? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, but, like, yeah, there's nothing comes of it. It's just that, like, everyone just kind of agrees that, like, yeah, he deserved it, and then they move on with their day. So you could probably slap the shit out of Hyoko. Well. <laughs> she's a, like, yeah, she's a girl, but, like, you could still do it. <laughs> you just do it where no one can see you, and then, like, they gotta believe her in the first place. Yeah, which, like, nobody likes her, so... Oh, what the, is just like, uh, This diagram is the clue. The killer is and who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. And this di that diagram shows. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to the table in the dark. Yes. Correct. The killer is probably uh, the killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Uh huh. Did I ever tell you about how, like, I still love those, like, clips I get from the Joe Rogan podcast because they're hilarious? Is it, didn't you say it was because he's, like, high as shit or something? Yeah, he's, like, either high as shit or just dumb as hell because he I, just... I like to imagine Joe Rogan has, like, died a long time ago and they have a robot. <laughs> it just struggles to do human emotions. <laughs> Because it's like, he said that if he's barely responding, then prob that's probably it. Like, sometimes he responds, but, like, a lot of it is really just them sitting there and just being like, yeah, we were out in Africa, and uh, we saw this dragon just straight up eat a guy, and he's just like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, you're not fucking here. You are not a part of this conversation. I, I like to imagine it's a robot, but he's plugged into a low-power outlet. He's running low on batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just pops in real quick and says, hang on, anybody get some D-cells? I got the big ones, but, like, they're just not 
doing it. You know, I do have to admit though, like Joe Rogan has had a very interesting career because, like, he was the host of um, Fear, oh, Fear Factor. Yeah, he was the host of Fear Factor. He. Um, so it's only one person who could have possibly done it. Should, uh, should we end it here? Or? How much more trial is there? Oh, there's like another hour. Yeah, sure. Let's end it here. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Dangin' Rapper 2. Goodbye, despair. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.